Hey you guys, I filmed this video a while ago and I forgot to add in a shot of the back of the box. So you can kind of see what these models look like. Here we go. And uh, just to let you know, this has been a fun game to build up. These plastic tripods are a blast to build up. And I didn't mention it in the game or in the video, but if you have played this game, I would love, oh, there's six of them. I thought there was only three. I would love if you could tell me what your experience has been. Um, because this is a smaller game. You might not have ever heard of it before. Might not know what it is. All quiet on the Martian front. Um, but if yeah, if you've had any experience in it, then please let me know. Write a write a comment or uh, post up a video with a response and your your feelings on it. Because I love I am loving building these guys up. These smaller guys are easy to build up. I can uh, or easy to put together, easy to build up. I, I can just imagine how much fun they'll be to paint. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the game and enjoy the video. Latest players. What is up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mud. Sometimes you want something a little bit different from the normal war game and when Games Workshop, 40k, Warhammer Fantasy, War Machine, Hordes, Infinity, and the other big boys on the field are just a little too much for you, you want to go and do something that's a little bit different. So I thought I'd do an unboxing of this game I picked up over the weekend called All Quiet on the Martian Front by Alien Dungeon. It's a pretty cool alien invasion game that takes place I think in North America in 1908 so it's a little bit before historically World War One would happen you've got these kind of War of the Worlds ish walker guys tromping about so it's a pretty cool concept and I've heard a lot about the game from the guys at my local gaming shop so after the July painting challenge ended and my lady boss's friend uh, left and we kind of life returned kind of back to normal over here, I thought I'd pick this up to do on the side when I'm not working on commissions or other stuff. So let's just see what's in the box. And here's the first thing that I was looking at right before I started filming. All quiet on the Martian front. Start here. It's kind of like the starter kit instructions for how to put together the tripods. Looks like there are three ways you can equip them with green gas, black dust launchers, or an assault head pretty cool like with the heat ray you also get these steam tanks that kind of remind me of Lehman Russes with the side sponsons you can put uh, weapons up at the top here and they give you a scenario on how to play it I'm not gonna talk too much about the rules because everybody kind of has their own idea of what makes a rule set good or bad but here you can see the transfer sheet at the bottom you've got some transfers for the American tanks or the British tanks. Tally ho! Pretty funny. You also get some icons here. I think the transfers came out really, really nice. And at the bottom, you've got alien symbols. Ooh, very Necron looking. Uh, very cool though. Alright, you get two 10 sided dice. This game uses 10 sided dice for percentiles. Not always for percentiles, but just for. Uh, to play with rather than d6 and you've got these two templates that come in the bag as well you got a rule book here all quiet on the Martian front it has lots of pictures of other models they're gonna plan to come out with soon uh, the rules on how to play the game some pretty cool artwork pretty funny uh, it's a little scale breakdown of how oops big these tripods are and how big they want to get that's gonna look pretty crazy when it comes out these things they're 15 millimeter but these walkers are supposed to be pretty the tripods are supposed to be pretty tall I hear when when you build them up so oops, focus in and take a look at the different sprues you get first I'm looking at the alien sprues three identical ones so we'll take a look at the first one heat ray black dust green gas, canister holders, here's the, a look at the detail on the shell, really nice. The plastic is not, it, it seems to be different from Games Workshop plastic, um, I'm not sure how, in what way, but it, it does look a little bit more, they do feel a little bit more like toys than Games Workshop models. 
and it seems like there's a little less detail, a lot of smooth edges, but I mean, that's not a bad thing. They're, they, they look really well sculpted. I'm gonna have to really build them up though to see, yeah, how difficult or easy they are to put together. All right, so that's the, that's the alien. Sorry, I didn't really take a look at this one for too long. They get nice, big, chunky bases. No detailing on them, so you could do your own flocking at the bottom. Not sure what everything is, so I'm gonna have to build them up. But uh, stay tuned to see how that goes. And uh, hold on, and we'll take a look at the Americans. Okay, so you've got these counters, immobile. Uh, this one looks like you've got little targeting reticles on them with numbers inside, immobile. Uh, hit markers looks like not sure what they all mean. I haven't really dug into the the rule book yet So they're really nicely done though, and here are the tanks Now remember these are 15 millimeter scale, so these tanks are actually going to be pretty Big if you compare them to what they would look like in real life, and yeah, like I said very Reminiscent of, of Lehman Russ looking vehicle with the treads here on the sides and the bodies. Uh, I'm going to be really interested to build these guys up. So that's one of the three identical tank sprues and here is uh, the other one, the other three. Yeah, they all kind of look the same so I wonder if they're all yeah, they all look like duplicates. You get six, six of these plastic tank sprues. So they were packaged three to a bag, so I thought they were different, but they kind of all look the same. And finally, you've got, oh, these are so cool. Bags of the 15 millimeter uh, figures themselves. So I'm gonna pop each one open and uh, we'll see what we have inside. Okay, the first thing we're looking at are these Rough Riders. Interesting names for them, they're called Rough Riders. It looks like they've got the World War I pot helmets with gas masks and they're riding motorbikes. You got three bases and six guys, which makes me think that it's two per sprue. What does this guy look like? He's got, he's aiming something up. So it looks like he's riding underneath Interesting, aiming something up. And I hear that these handlebars are kind of difficult to glue on, so we'll see We'll see how that goes for us. All right, next on display are these machine gun teams. So you've got one guy here on the gun. And you've got two other guys next to him, one holding binoculars. It's interesting painting Death Corps of Krieg. I'm noticing a lot of similarities, like this little pack on the front of them is very reminiscent of the Death Corps of Krieg um, little rebreather packs. And then I guess here you've got a loader holding another pack of ammunition or something. But like I was looking at these and my camera does not get very close up, unfortunately, to look at the detail of all of them. Or does it? Ah, it does, here we go. Igor, do your job correctly. I'm sorry, master. Yeah, look at the detail. Really, really nice. And here's the guy in the machine gun. Not bad, not bad for sculpting in such a small scale, I think. We'll take a look at the guy on the binoculars. Looks like they've got a pack with a sleeping bag, a canteen, and I'm uh, not sure what this is at the bottom of it. All right, so uh, next we're gonna take a look at the infantry. All right, this is the final thing we're looking at. You get two bags of these, oops. So you've got these long strips to put the models on and each of these bags looks like they come with, how much do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15. So five guys to a strip. Now let's take a nice close up look at some of these guys that you get. Looks like they're all wearing kind of the same uniforms with rifles. This guy is running. And yeah, it looks like they're all kind of geared to be advancing towards the enemy. A lot of flash on these figures, which uh, I'm not sure if that's common with metal figures anymore. It's been so long since I've had to to paint one because of all the the plastic and resin that's come out with you see a mold line right there on the right leg on the inside but really again when you're working with models on such a small scale you know it's really oops it's really forgivable the little mistakes because of just how small these models are to be able to get such detail all right so we're not going to take a look at all of them but there you go I love that this kit has large, giant, plastic, alien-looking walkers, and then a lot of these little 15 millimeter guys, metal, infantrymen, and tanks. So I'm gonna enjoy painting these up. Thanks for watching this video, you guys. Again, the game is called All Quiet on the Martian Front by Alien Dungeon. So go check them out, oops, and uh, I'm gonna build mine up and, oops, see how they play tomorrow. And uh, we'll talk to you later. I'll post up another video to see how they go. All right, um, because my <laughs> local gaming store does Monday nights all quiet on the Martian front game nights to uh, test it out. So thanks for watching and uh, following my channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Latest players!